So great job, you've learned the chords, you've learned the strumming patterns, you're ready to learn the full song. Now there's only three parts to this song. If I'm going a little bit quick, just go back and check out another part. In the description there's all the time links. So the next thing you would do, you've learned the chords, you've learned the strumming pattern, is to actually learn when to use those chords. So here we go, there's only three parts the entire song. There's an intro, and a chorus, and a verse, and then it just repeats chorus and verse. Here we go, have a look at the intro. There's four A chords, and you play each chord four times. So one, two, three, four. That would be once. One, two, three, four. That's twice. Third time. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. And that would be the whole intro. I'll play it without stopping. It. Now that's the intro. So if you have a look after the intro, you've got the chorus. What I would do is just focus on one chord. Don't worry about the changes to begin with, and then once you can do the one chord, add a second chord. Once you can do two chords, add the third chord. So focus just on the A chord. So here's all the lyrics here. I'm probably going to disappear as I show you the lyrics. So you've got the first chorus. You've got A, don't worry about a thing, another A chord. Then it changes on the next line, because every, that's when you change the D, little thing is gonna be all right, back to A. The next is sing and don't worry over an A chord about a thing, A chord again. Then it changes, because every D, little thing is gonna be all right. So before we put sort of singing and before we put a little bit of rhythm into it, let's just strum it together. So here we're gonna do, and I'm gonna count, we're gonna do the first line, so that is eight. A chords, okay? A chord and then another A chord. So get ready, I'm gonna count in one bar and we're gonna play together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and again one and two and three and four and that's it. So it would be don't worry. That's the first line. Great job. Next, so f for cause, every little thing, it changes over to D. So you could stop the song, you could stop what you're practicing, and just jump over the D chord, no matter which version you're playing. One finger version sounds fine. So then for the D chord, cause, let's play it again. Together, I'll count in one bar. Let's do D, and then over to A. So D four times, A four times. One, and two, and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then stop take a breath jump over to the a chord one and two and three and four and i'll sing it because every little thing gonna be all right then the next line, it's exactly the same as what you've already done. Just eight more A chords. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. After that, you've already done the next line. It's just four D chords and four A chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You've done the chorus and you've done the intro as well. That's two thirds of the song. Let's check out the last third, then you'll be able to play all of it. So the last third, you're talking about the verse and then we'll solo over the whole thing. So with the verse, have a look at the chords. You've got A and then you've got a new chord. You've got that E chord. So let's play four A chords, then four E chords. Again, you can use that one finger method if you want. So ready? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and take your time change over to e one and two and three and four and the next line three little birds you've got a for four and d for four let's do that one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four Take your time, change over to D. 
one and two and three and four and. The next line, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true, you've already done that line because it's just another A chord and another E chord. One and one and two and three and four and one. The last line is a little bit different, that last line of the verse, saying, this is my message to you, ooh, ooh. So you've got D chord for four, and then an A chord for four. You just do the easier versions, that's fine. So let's do that, I'll count you in. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, take your time, swap over to A. One, and two, and three, and four, and, and at speed, one, All right, so here's what the verse would sound like. I'll just play a bar, then I'll jump in and sing. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds, which are by my doorstep, singing sweet songs. I know I'm not the best singer, but hey, I have a lot of fun singing and playing, and I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna show you very quickly the entire song, just so you can see the structure of the songs. That's really important when you're learning a song. So if you have a look, you've got the intro. You can already play that. You've got the chorus. Then you've got the verse. Then you go back to the chorus, which is the same as what you've already done. Then the second verse, again. Then the chorus, and that's just the chorus again. So it's really only three parts repeated. Intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus. Done. That's the entire structure of the song. And now you can play all of the chords of the song as well. So great job. In the next part, we're gonna check out how you could solo over the song. So hang around for that.